Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. So I wanted to give you just one video that tells you all everything that you should know, and some things you probably don't want to know about clan wars, really to help you win the clan war. Because you know what I really want is my subscribers to uh, be the best possible clan um, war people ever. Yeah. So anyway, so you have uh, two days to the clan war. One day is preparation, and one day is war. Uh, one day being 24 hours, of course. So when you decided that you want to go to a clan war, the leader or the co-leader presses the button on the left. That's the one with the cross sword icon. Um, and then that searches for a clan war. Uh, you can actually move away from that once, uh, you know, you just go and raid after that. It's going to take a few minutes to find a, a suitable uh, clan to attack. And the attacking, the matchmaking is done automatically. You can't, you know, click next for and see another one. And it's done on the basis of relative strength of uh, each side. Uh, they try and match them evenly, so you can have a 10 against 10 attack, or you know, 15 against 15, but sometimes it won't be possible to do that. So if that happens, then the top players in the larger side uh, will all going to participate so that they're even. So if you've got, I don't know, 15 in one side and 10 in the other, the top 10 of the, fifth, the larger clan will take part. You know, and that's the only time that uh, trophies actually matter in the game. You can't win or lose any trophies at all during a clan war. So let's have a look at the uh, the first day. The first day is known as the preparation day. Uh, that's going to be 24 hours long. And what happens during that is the day when the clans prepare their defences, they get information about the opposing side. Uh, communication is really going to be key here because it's really important. You all bear in mind that you really got to get as many stars as you possibly can. Remember, it's stars that matter here, not really resources um, and not individual successes. You need to work together as a clan. So, um, there are no attacks during preparation day, by the way. So, you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is rearrange your war base. So, you're gonna take it from whatever it is at the moment farming, hybrid, or even if it's uh, cut base at the moment and you're gonna prepare it to the best possible defenses. Now, any, um, any upgrading defenses that you've got will be automatically uh, um, activated on war day at the level that they were when you put them into upgrade. So, you know, you've got a level 9 arch tower, you're upgrading it to level 10. Um, in War Day, that's going to be activated as a level 9 arch tower. The same with heroes as well. So, you rearrange your base, and the war base automatically rearranges to match your village layout. At the moment that the timer goes down to zero, that there a snapshot has been taken of your, of your base, and that is going to be your war base. Okay, so another way you can work together is by donating troops. So the clan castle that's in your war base is different from the clan castle in your village, and it really needs to be filled separately. So the troops donated to a, a war base will be used to defend it against all attacks during battle day. Um, unlike your regular village, there's no need to request troops for your war base. Um, all of the war bases are automatically open for troop donations during preparation day. Uh, to donate, just tap on a clan mate's war base during a prep day and donate troops directly. You can request a specific troop by tapping your war base on the war map and changing the donation request message. So let's talk about battle day. So this is the day when clans attack. They start scoring stars and pushing towards victory. War bases cannot be changed during battle day, so you know make sure that you you know you get your clan castle way in the middle, your town hall way in the middle, and you know it's all about having a, t a superior attacking skill and coordination. You have to be very careful that you can see what your um, what your clan mates are doing to make sure that you know you're not all but jumping on the same guy, for example. So the main goal of attacking in clan war is to earn stars for your clan by winning them in battle. It's really important to attack targets that you think you can defeat. During battle day, you'll always have a recommended target visible on the war map. Now, you don't have to attack this recommended target, but that's the one that the, uh, the system thinks that you're going to be best matched against considering your attacking strength. You have to build an army to, to attack in a clan war, and you build that in your normal base as normal, just like you do for every other multiplayer attack. So remember, there are no second chances in clan wars. If you go into a clan war, if you don't press anything and don't deploy any troops, you can come back out again just like any multiplayer attack and you won't lose any stars. But as soon as you start to deploy troops, that's it. So you need to make sure that you've got a full clan castle, unlike what I tend to do, which is go out without heroes. So make sure your heroes are awake, full clan castle, you've got loads of spells, and, uh, and off you go. So remember, it doesn't really matter if, you've, if you're on shield. You're not going to break the shield when you go to a clan war. Um, you know, it's completely separate. So you can view replay. So the best attack that's performed against 
um, one of your or one of the enemy war bases can be viewed via the replay button that's shown when you tap Town Hall for, on the war map. The button will not be shown if there has not yet been an attack performed against that war base. Uh, and, and also, every attack made by every participant in the clan war can be reviewed and replayed by pressing the blue and white star to, uh, near the top of the right screen and selecting the War Events tab. So, defending castle, clan castle troops. So, after a war attack is over, the defending clan castle troops that are destroyed are automatically replenished. That means that uh, the same clan castle troops will defend a war base against every war attack. All of the heroes and the traps and infernos and crossbows will all be re uh, replenished and recharged immediately, automatically, you don't need to do anything on there. So, remember, the winning clan is going to be the top the top clan that has stars, right? So, it's always the stars are always on display in real time at the top of the war map. You can see them uh, accumulate through the day uh, and cheer on your, your, your clan mates. So, it's very important to keep in mind that only the best attack against each enemy war base counts. So if someone has already earned two stars against an enemy base, you'll have to earn a perfect three stars against that same base to score one. So it might be as the day unfolds, there's better attacks to go for. So if your clan wins the clan war, well, every member of the winning clan will immediately be awarded the full bonus loot that they got from all their attacks. And those will be stored in the clan castle. If your clan loses the clan war, well, you're going to suffer a stiff penalty to the loot bonus. So um, you get some loot bonus, but it'll be heavily reduced. If there's a draw, uh, you'll get a little bit of loot. Not as much as if you won, but not as much as if you lose. So the clan war bonus is the loot that you learn from the clan, if your clan wins the war. You increase this by attacking and defeating enemy war bases. Um, now, it doesn't really matter how many stars you get to get the loot bonus, but you know, be careful because if, if you fail in an attack against an enemy war base, your, your war win bonus will not increase. Your war win bonus is always shown at the top left hand corner of the war map. Um, if somebody attacks you during a clan war, you don't lose any resources. The loot that's available to enemies in a clan war base doesn't come from your village, so your resources are safe. It's, it's not a way of attacking farmers, for example. So. The bonus loot that you win is stored again in your clan castle, and it's safer there in regular storages because it's likely to be right in the middle because that's the right place to put your clan castle. But remember to collect it regularly because your clan castle can only hold a small amount of uh, war loot. Um, now, after the war, clan war has ended, you can view all of the battle replays for a time. It's just like you know the normal uh, replays; it sort of scrolls off, and after a while, and remember, if maintenance breaks, it usually it's going to clear them as well. So it shows a history of the clan's past clan wars, all their scores. Recent clan wars can be browsed in depth by tapping the details button. Um, now, if a war ends when the server goes into maintenance, as it's unlikely to happen, is the wars are going to pause when that goes into maintenance. So preparation and battle days will be extended by the amount of time the server is under maintenance. Yeah, and you can start a clan war every two days, really. Well, listen, I hope that was useful for you. Please do put your, com uh, your thoughts in the comments. Is your clan going to go to war? Are you looking forward to it? I guess the questions that I have quite a lot is when is Clan Wars coming? I, I'm guessing early next week, early to mid next week, next week, but I guess it really does depend on Google and Apple. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.